Hey YouTubers, TJ here. Um, this is part two of my build for the uh, weld positioner I'm, I'm doing. Um, I need to power this thing up and I don't want to do the CNC motor uh, slash Aderno setup that uh, Dozer Builder suggests in his plans that you do. So I decided to get some wheelchair motors. Now I got these two wheelchair motors on eBay. They were 25 bucks a piece. It was a package deal for 50 bucks, free shipping. So I can't beat that. Um, they're gear, they're you know gear reduction motors. 24 volts. You can run 12 volts to them. So here's what I did. I took a computer power pack here, cut the main ribbon off, and found that if you jump the green wire to a black, it will actually power up 12 volts out of the brown wire and the yellow wires. So I hooked that up to a switch just to jump the wires as you can see the green and the black. So that's actually on. And I got a $14 DC pulse width modulator on eBay. And what I can do now, it's got a potentiometer on it. This is the knob. And I can control that motor speed. Again, this will be set up to a gear, uh, a sprocket and chain as well with a plastic uh, collar here uh, so the ground for welding does not go through the motor. But let me just um, power this thing up and show you what I mean. Here's the switch, uh, forward and reverse switch. So here's what it looks like. It's on right now. Uh, I can go slower than that. I just put a piece of tape on it so you can see it move actually. So we can go down to a crawl here. And again, this is going to be also reduced from a sprocket, small sprocket on the drive here to a larger sprocket. And we can go faster as well. That's not all, that's almost full speed, but we'll never go that fast in welding. We can also go the other way with the switch here. Very smooth motors, quiet. A lot of torque. You can't even hold the thing. It'll just, you know, spin the motor back up in your hand. So uh, the next video will probably be uh, setting, making some brackets that go to the um, to the positioner itself. Probably going to cut this one off and probably just use use a just this is easier to show you. Use these two here as a mount. Somehow stand it up and mount it onto my. Uh, my positioner probably turn up some aluminum bushings or something like that to go to the positioner and also insulate it with plastic as well so we don't uh, send the ground for welding through here. Anyways, I thought I'd show you uh, my different way of doing things. Um, I don't like to build electronics. I'm not good at it. And so I figured this would be a quicker shortcut. Again, I got about 60 bucks into powering this thing up. About sixty-five dollars. This was fourteen or twelve or whatever, and these two motors were fifty. I grabbed this power pack out of a PC that was going in the garbage. So, all in all, only like sixty, sixty-five bucks to get this thing to power up. Plus, I have an extra motor in case I uh, mess something up. But I'm probably going to turn the shaft down a little bit, put a shoulder on it, and maybe cut another keyway. There is a keyway in here, but it's up high. I kind of want to bring it down low. Anyways.